Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance. And as always, I apologise in advance too. If the quality of this video is fairly poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. So, this is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video, if you will. Earlier today, at the time of recording this video, I listened in full for the first time to the Swiss entry for the forthcoming Eurovision Song Contest, which will take place this May at the Ahoy in Rotterdam in the Netherlands, as we all know. The Swiss entry, what a fine entry it is, is called... Répondez-moi, which means answer me, is performed in French with some phrases in Albanian, and John's Tears is the name of the solo male performer for Switzerland this year. They're in the second half of the second semi-final. However, this video is all about the host nation. I'm really looking forward to this. The Netherlands, of course. The performer we've known for some time. His name is jean Gu McCroy. He was born in November 1993. He's from Suriname in South America. Two albums, both of which don't seem to have really set the charts alight in the Netherlands. A bunch of singles. This guy can really sing, though. I've been watching some of his performances off-camera. And my word... This guy is probably going to have one of the best male voices this year. The song's called Grow. Now, I believe it was leaked online uh, last night or earlier this morning. I decided to wait until the music video was put up on the official Eurovision Song Contest YouTube page. That's what I'm going to be watching in a minute. And I'm really looking forward to listening to this. Apparently, it's a very personal song, a slow song. And at the time of recording, this video has, I'm just going to reload the page to make sure I've got an accurate figure, uh, the music video has, it has 35,847 views, and mostly likes, although there are over 700 dislikes here, I'm going to get straight into it. What I will say though, is that I've noticed that I'm getting quite a few views on some of my recent reaction type videos, which is really pleasing, and thank you very much if you've watched some of them. But not a lot of people are really sticking with the videos right through until the end. Probably because I ramble on, and I do apologise for that too. So, now, Grow by jean Gu McCroy. Uh, the Netherlands hasn't been outside of my personal top ten since 2013. That's a long time. I'm expecting quality, and... A ballad is no bad thing, as I've said before on this channel. Here we go. This, I'm hoping, is going to be top-notch stuff from the Dutch. Here we go. Yes. He's lying on the floor. Okay. I feel like he has a very rich, soulful voice. Really lovely. There are photographs of him, images. It's starting off as a very sort of sparse tune. Is that an organ? This is nice, but it's not totally gripping me just yet. He's got a lovely voice. There's a touch of fragility to it, but that's a positive thing. Yeah, this is really gentle. It's a bit of a dreamy melody, I think. It's really nice. I can't really say too much because not a whole lot's happening, but it's starting to build. Oh, I like that bit. Lovely voice, yes. Walking down the street now. Yeah, I mean, it's a slow song, but there's a bit of groove to this as well, I think.
I mean, it reminds me a bit of um, gospel music as well. Let me know your thoughts on that. This is nice, but it's also maybe not the most uh, gripping song so far, and I'm already about two-thirds of the way through it. Gotta appreciate it for what it is, though. This is good. It is good. Some peace of mind. Is this some sort of support group? It's really, yeah, it's sort of sparse in terms of the instrumentation, you know. It's all about the vocals, I feel, this one is. I can just imagine how this is going to be staged in Rotterdam with maybe just a few lights focused on him and the rest of the stage completely dark. Although, the fact it's building up, maybe more warm tones will come into the uh, aesthetic of the performance. Yeah. This is good. Powerful, stirring stuff. Lovely. It's easy to sing along with, I think. It's not over the top. But it's also nothing like Arcade. Not in my opinion. This is a little bit more... soulful. Oh yeah! Stage this right and you've got a top ten finish again. I like it very much. It's clearly a, an emotionally charged sort of song. Very personal. I'll need to look at the lyrics in a bit more depth. That's it! That's quite impressive! Quite impressive, and I can sort of understand why some people might find it a bit disappointing, because it is slow, it really takes a while to find its groove, and then it does. Uh, it's certainly not an up-tempo number, but it's soulful, and very pleasant to listen to. I haven't really got anything bad to say about it at all. Let's take a look at some of the comments. This song resonates to those unfortunate enough to realise the world isn't what they've imagined it to be. Um, to the just another ballad people, you are too simple-minded. The Netherlands serving quality. Um, I get that people want up-tempo songs and all, and all that, but you can hear that this is quality. Um, a strong entry, a good example of when less is more. I agree. This really is very stripped back but that is no bad thing because you can connect with people through the lyrics just as much as you can with the melody of course you can and uh, while I don't think most people who watch Eurovision care much for the lyrics I think it's important to check them out from time to time as well this is really lovely is it as good as Arcade? No but is it a good song? Is it quality stuff? Yes I would say so um, Ballads are better than up-tempo crappy bops. People like that much. This is how you transmit emotions. I mean, it's worth saying as well that for the past few years, the host nation hasn't always done that well. Israel struggled last year. In 2015, Austria struggled, got a big fat zero. Um, who else really struggled? Ukraine on home soil. Portugal finished last on home soil. So it can be difficult, but... I think the Dutch don't need to worry about this. The jury should love it, and I think the public will respond quite warmly as well. This is such an anthem for those who already stepped on adulthood and its hardships. Twelve points from your neighbours, Belgium. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I can already see the whole audience in the stadium with lights in their hands. Yeah. I mean, this is good. It's good. What else is there to say? It's slow, it's soulful, it's passionate, it's powerful, it's emotional. You can connect with it. I'm sure a lot of people have connected with this on a deep level already. I like it. I'll listen to it again. Probably going to be in my personal top ten. Once again, the Netherlands. Well played. And that's it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I should say that I'll...
probably be back with a reaction to the Irish entry. I believe that's tomorrow. San Marino's song is coming tomorrow, and I think Austria as well, but I could be wrong on that front. We shall see. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Apologies if the quality of this video is pretty pants. Sadly, it can't be helped. Until next time, I'm rambling now. Not a good sign. Bye for now. Good stuff, the Netherlands. Good stuff.